What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and I can tell you this video already is not going to go well. We are trying to name NFL Draft Bus. I have a couple different quizzes for you guys. I have obviously never seen them before. And this first one is, can you name the NFL Draft Bus from 2000 to 2019 by the image? And while I have a really good memory for remembering, you know, certain players that played well and even, even not if they play well, even just players that stuck around for a little bit, like I always remember Corel Buckhalter for no reason, no idea why, but draft busts should be a lot harder. So this first one has 20 and we have 10 minutes to get them. The early 2000s is just gonna be tough for me. It's just gonna be tough, but we'll see what I can do. Hopefully I don't forget too many. I'll have the quiz links down in the description if you guys wanna try them as well. Hit that subscribe button if you're new for more quizzes like this, but I felt like it was gonna be a good time to bring back the quizzes, do something NFL draft related for some NFL draft content that isn't even surrounding 2021. So I will have a ton of 2021 NFL draft content coming. Uh, I've almost completely finished my quarterback evals. So I'm gonna have a quarterback video coming out very, very soon, but that is not this video. This video is NFL draft busts from 2019 and then some other all time draft busts as well. And I can tell you starting out, it's a 2000 NFL draft. I have no idea who this is. Looks like a receiver wearing number 80. I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, the name Achilles Smith is in my head, but he played quarterback for them. I'm gonna try Smith anyway, or like Johnson, Williams, just basic last names. I have no idea who that is, so that's not gonna work. 2001 NFL Draft, I don't even know what player they're trying to show. Is it the quarterback? Or is it the defensive player, I think probably the quarterback, number 15 for the Chiefs. Is that It can't be Trent Green. He was actually decent. I have no idea. <laughs> That's what this video is going to be. Just not knowing. 2002 NFL Draft, also for the Chiefs. I also don't know. Should I work backwards? Let's try working backwards. 2019, well, doesn't even have a picture. How am I supposed to get it with no picture? Who's who's a 2019 draft bust? Uh, Daniel Jones. <laughs> um, who's another player taken in that draft? 2019. No idea. We're going to get Josh Rosen, though, for the first one of the list for 2018. 2017 is Paxton Lynch. We're on a roll now. 20, uh, there's just too many with no with no picture. Mitch Trubisky is going to be 2017. I couldn't possibly have known that these were not going to have pictures that loaded. 2015, I have no idea. For some reason, I can't even tell you one player taken in the 2015 NFL draft. It's just not coming to mind. Eric Flowers, maybe. Eli Apple. Those seem like pretty good options. Those were like, I think, 2016 was Eli Apple, 2015 was Flowers. How is Eric Flowers not there? 2014, that's Justin Gilbert from Oklahoma State. Stud returner there, played corner. Completely forgot about him. This is Deion Jordan in 2013. These are actually getting kind of hard though. That's Justin Blackman. He actually is a weird one because he was a really, really good player when he was healthy in the mind. He got suspended for weed like so many different times. And alcoholism, I think, was the big one with him, unfortunately. Jake Locker is 2011. So we're getting the 2010s, like, as much as we can, honestly. No picture for this one for the 2010 NFL Draft. Super disappointing. This is a tackle. He was, like, 6'10". Um, oh, why do I always forget his name? Because he's a bust. He's forgettable. He went at number two overall, I want to say. I always forget his name. It's gettable, too. It's a really gettable name. Oh, I can't remember. Um, he might be like a Williams or, or a Johnson. Or a Jackson. He, he's got a very gettable name. I can't remember what it is offhand. 2008. For the Jets. 08 draft. I mean, are they trying to bait me here? Is that Aaron Maben, but pictured in a Jets uniform? It's not. Uh, Quentin Copels came to mind, but that's definitely not who that is. I don't know who that is. 2007 is an easy one. That's Jamarcus Russell. 
Let me know how you guys do on some of these quizzes because I'm struggling here. No, no, no. Oh, Texas legend, of course. A uh, big Texas fan. He's one of my favorite players of all time. Unfortunately, just not very good in the NFL. Vince Young. And it's not even like he was ahead of his time. I don't think he'd be successful now either. Uh, he was just a little bit too, like, gung-ho. Um, ready to run all the time instead of actually passing. I think this is another Texas legend. Cedric Benson. Rest in peace, man. He unfortunately passed away uh, in a car accident. But Cedric Benson, he had some good years with the Bears, even though he didn't really work out for the Bengals too much. Number 11 for the Jaguars. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to tell you I have no idea who that is. This is Charles Rogers, one of the worst picks of the Matt Millen era, former GM of the Lions. And I just don't know who some of these guys are. Like, I'll tell you who is it. Who is a draft bust for the Chiefs? Played D-line like this guy. Was in 2002, though. Went to LSU. Why am I forgetting his name? There's a G in there somewhere. I'm going to look that up after this. But I think I'm I'm all set. I can't name any other of these players. 2019, I just can't get. 2015, I can't get. 2010, I can't get. Just because we don't have any uh, picture of those guys. Oh, maybe Greg Robinson is one of these answers. 2015, he was after 2015 though. So I don't... He was like 2017, right? Or 2018 was Greg Robinson. I don't know who 2019 is going to be. I really want to be able to get this guy. I can't remember his name. I'm going to unfortunately have to give up. Only getting 11 of 20. And let's see who I missed out on. Oh, this guy's name almost popped in my head. I'm just not going to get it, though. Peter Warwick. Yeah, Florida State. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep, Peter Warwick, Florida State, went at number four overall. Oh, my goodness. Played on the Bengals for his rookie contract and then was just pretty much out of the NFL. Peter Warwick. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I saw the name, I knew, but uh, that one was tough. Jamal Reynolds. So it wasn't the quarterback. I don't know who Jamal Reynolds is. Never heard the name before. Number three is Ryan Sims. Another one I just don't remember. It makes me think of Ernie Sims, who was another draft bust. Kind of surprised not to see him on, him on here. But, I mean, there are a ton of draft busts. It's hard to just pick one. Reggie Williams. The name sounds familiar, but I don't remember him. Number nine is Vernon Golston. No! Oh, my goodness. I forgot he was the 08 draft. Vernon Golston pops up as one of the, like, most memorable draft busts. How did I forget Vernon Golston? I guess, I guess I just thought he was earlier than 08. Oh my god. That one's so frustrating because I know Vernon Golston, and I kind of went into this video knowing Vernon Golston was going to pop up. I got the Jets, and I didn't get Vernon Golston. I, I can't believe I did that. Jason Smith. Oh, I knew it was a gettable name, dude. Jason Smith. One of the most plain names of all time. And I forget Jason Smith. Number number uh, 11 for 2010's Tim Tebow. I mean, that makes sense, but I, I can't see that it's Tim Tebow, unfortunately. Kevin White for 2015. Of course, stud West Virginia receiver drafted by the Bears and just couldn't stay healthy. And then 2019's Rashawn Gary. Rashawn Gary's not a draft bust. First of all, being a draft bust after a year, depending on when this quiz was made, stupid. Because you don't know yet. Rashawn Gary was actually pretty good last year. But wow. Um... I'm really not mad about any of the misses except for Vernon Golston. And I guess Jason Smith, too. I don't know how I don't get Vernon Golston. That's just me being stupid, just giving up and, and not knowing. That one's so obvious. This next quiz has 25 to get, and they appear to be from all different eras. And I'm going to tell you, I already am not going to know most of these. I'm just not going to. It's faces, too. I just... I just don't know on a lot of these guys. Um, but we're going to start things off with Ryan Leaf from the Chargers. Next up, I think it's Tim Couch. That's not... Oh, that's the Bengals. Tim Couch was on here, though. There he was. I probably don't get Tim Couch with that image, to be honest. There's nothing Browns about that. Bengals, though. I just don't know. Charles Rogers is next. I don't think I know any of those top two. 
Achilles Smith is on the uh, far left side, though, right? That's who that is. Yep, Achilles Smith. There's Vernon Golston. See, I recognize him there, but there's something about him actually playing on the field. Didn't recognize him. I guess it's not too much of a shock. Seahawks. Is that Todd Marinovich? Didn't even come close to spelling that right. Marinovich. It's not Todd Marinovich. He is on here, though. Oh, he's with the Raiders. Who am I? Why am I? Seahawks. Is that Dave Craig over to the next side? It's not. Is it, uh, there's two Seahawks quarterbacks there. I don't know. I don't know who those two are. Seahawks quarterbacks. Oh, we're running out of time, too. Uh, this looks like an eagle, maybe. Not really sure who that is. Not sure who this random shirtless guy is. Just some of these guys I haven't seen in forever. This guy, is that Trent Dilfer with hair? It's not. That looks like Trent Dilfer with hair. Is that Heath Schuler? It is Heath Schuler. Dude, he looks like Trent Dilfer there. That's crazy. Next up is a Falcon. It's not going to be Jamal Anderson. I'm going to type it anyway. Jamal Anderson was kind of good. Next up is Aaron Mabin. We talked about him on the last the last video. Um, this is a Rams player. He looks familiar. I don't know who that is. I don't know who this is. This player, this Packers lineman, I do know. I saw an entire video on YouTube about him. Um, he was a big bodybuilder, bunch of steroids. I can't remember his name. Peter Warwick is next. We just talked about him. Uh, David Carr is underneath that. Is that Jeff George? Jeff George wasn't really a draft bust, though. I don't know who that is at the bottom. Then we have Jamarcus Russell. Maybe it is Jeff George. Yeah. Jamarcus Russell underneath that. And then Tim Tebow. So we're only at 12 of 25 right now. Is one of those like Todd Blackledge, maybe? Todd Blackledge is this one. Another 83 draft guy. How do I not know some of these? Some of these guys look familiar. Which I guess isn't a surprise. This 49ers quarterback doesn't really look familiar. Man, who are, I'm surprised like Rashawn Salam isn't on here. Because he definitely is a draft bust. Rest in peace, though. Um, this guy is like in Ovich or something. I, I can't remember his name. I think I'm going to be done. I don't think I can name any other of these guys. Which I'm going to know the names probably. I just can't remember. Um... David Kingler, I wouldn't have ever gotten. Keith McCants, I've heard the name, never would have gotten. Dan McGuire, I do know. Kelly Stauffer, I've heard the name. Jim Druckenmiller, I'm just not guessing any of those guys. Blair Thomas, Lawrence Phillips. Andre Ware, UH, University of Houston quarterback. I guess I just didn't know what he looked like. Yeah, Tony Mandarich. I, I said it was like Ovich or something, but yeah, Tony Mandarich. Bruce Pickens, I know the name, but I never would have guessed. Tom cousin -o. and then Art Schlichter. Man, that's a brutal last name to have, but you know what? 52%, I did better than a lot of guys. Are there any ones that I'm really upset about missing here? Maybe Tony Mandrich or Andre Ware, but like, not really. That one, we did all right. We did all right. And then the last quiz is another image one, I think. Can you identify each NFL player generally considered as an NFL draft bust? 18 to get in five minutes. Okay, so this is Heath Schuler. I know that for a fact. He was drafted third overall by Washington uh, at the time, 1994. That's Heath Schuler. I know that for a fact. Where is Heath Schuler? There he is. Drafted first overall in 2007. That's Jamarcus Russell. Third overall by the Lions in 2002. Former Oregon star QB. Gotta be Joey Harrington. Drafted first overall by the Bengals. Tore his ACL in his first ever preseason game. That's brutal. Running back never managed to get his career back on track. Bengals running back. Drafted at number one. That's Kajana Carter. Forgot about him. I also don't think I knew that story. 
Fourth overall in 82 by the Colts. After struggling on the field, this quarterback was banned by the league for a gambling operation. Is that Art Schlichter? We just saw him with the Colts. That's crazy. What are these stories? Drafted first overall in 2000 by the Browns. After an All-American career at Penn State, he only played one complete 16-game season for the Browns. 2000, that's got to be Tim Couch, right? It's not Tim Couch. This is it. Drafted first overall uh, in 1999. That's Tim Couch. All right, I got the draft classes confused. Um, who was the other Browns quarterback that's going to be on this list? Um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really see any Browns QBs on here. At least not that I can remember. Drafted second overall by the Seahawks. This is Brian Bosworth, Oklahoma State linebacker. Just never worked out. Second overall by the 89 Packers. Yes, this is Tony Mandarich, the bodybuilder. Talked about him, and there is a, a good video on YouTube about him. Drafted seventh overall in 1990 by the Lions. Heisman... Trophy winning quarterback played three seasons in Detroit, throwing only five touchdowns. I want to say that this is Andre Ware. I don't trust it for a fact, though. I, I don't remember him being drafted by the Lions, but this one, 03 Lions, Michigan State star receiver. This is going to be Charles Rogers. Second overall behind Peyton Manning, or just after Peyton Manning, excuse me, um, by the Chargers. That is Ryan Leaf. Drafted fourth overall in 09 by the Seahawks. Highly touted linebacker. Recorded only five and a half career sacks after reaching the NFL. This is Wake Forest linebacker monster Aaron Curry. Just never worked out. Drafted second overall in 19, 1993 by the Seahawks. Hyped to be the next Joe Montana. This is definitely Rick Mirror. I'm just going to go with it because I know. I don't want to be too crazy. Uh, drafted 22nd overall in 2014 by the Browns. This is going to be Johnny Football. Cocky attitude, off the field problems, inconsistent play, a very short career. That sounds about Johnny Football to me. Third overall by the Browns, running back. Managed to bust twice after the Colts traded first round pick to take him off Cleveland's roster. Yeah, Trent Richardson was a monster at Alabama, and then just nothing in the NFL, had no vision. Drafted third overall by the Bengals. Quarterback left the NFL in 05 with only five career touchdown passes. This is Achilles Smith. Tenth overall in 06 by the Cardinals. This is absolutely going to be Matt Leinert. And then one of these guys is uh, was drafted by the Browns. It's got to be Courtney Brown. And then Andre Ware for the Lions. So we only got one wrong. Courtney Brown probably should have gotten everyone right, but I, I mixed up the years with Tim Couch. And that is definitely my fault. Let's see if we can find any more. These are kind of fun. All right, maybe this is the last one we'll do. These are the players who were picked by, the, or who were picked in the first round of the 2011 NFL Draft by career weighted approximate value. Can you pick the ones who actually finished in the top 32 of their draft class? Okay, so we have 19 here, and some really, really good players. Some less than great players, though. So we're picking top 32 in the draft class. Well, Cam Newton's got to be in there, one MVP. Von Miller, great defensive player, won a Super Bowl MVP. Alden Smith, when healthy, was unbelievable. So I, Alden Smith isn't in there? He was like the fastest ever to a sack total. Like most sacks in his first five years. That, that's wild. Yes, the off-the-field issues really held him back. Julio's going to be on here. Tyron Smith has got to be on here. Jake Lockers, no. I, mean, I got to go AJ Green. He's another guy who's struggled to stay healthy, but he's been quite good. I think Ryan Kerrigan's going to be in here. I'm going to go Cam Jordan, though, for sure. I'm going to go Cam Hayward. He absolutely should be. Muhammad Wilker Wilkerson's a really interesting one. He's a really interesting one. Because he was really good for a time. As was Corey Legion. We're going to get J.J. Watt. Kind of missed out on him. Patrick Peterson's got to be in there. Anthony Costanzo, just because of his longevity, I would have to say Anthony Costanzo's in there. He is. I think Ryan Kerrigan, for the same reason, he was really good for a time. Here we got 11 so far. We need to find the next eight. We already have one wrong, though. We can't get perfect. Robert Quinn was so good for a time period. He's got to be on there. Mike Pouncey, another one. I figure he has to be on there. He is. 
Jonathan Baldwin won't be. Derek Sherrod won't be. Gabe Karimi won't be. Prince of Mucamara, I don't think will be. Marcel Darius, I think would be. Let's get him. Nate Solder's a tough one because he's been so bad for my favorite team, the Giants, but he was decent for the Patriots. Nick Fairley's another tough one. He was decent for a little while. I'm going to go, I think, Mark Ingram. Jimmy Smith is someone I want to I want to click on him because he's also been good for a time period. James Carpenter as well. James Carpenter has been good for a while. But how do they do approximate value for tackles? And he played guard too. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go James Carpenter. He is and I think the last two who has the highest chance Nick Fairley and Jimmy Smith. Fairley's not. Jimmy Smith is not. Oh, no. Who are the other two? Muhammad Wilkerson. Other three. Muhammad Wilkerson, he was. Corey Legion was as well. And Nate Solder. Yeah, I mean, some of those guys were borderline guys. It just sucks that I called out these two specifically. And then uh, Nate Solder just got in there as well. I thought he may have. But I am shocked that Alden Smith is underneath some of those guys. Because Alden Smith, at the top of his game, was so, so, so good. Let's pull up Alden Smith numbers. I mean, I didn't realize it was so short. But Alden Smith... And they're doing it by approximate value over on this right side here, by the way. But from 2011 to 2015, approximate value is not listed in here, but he had almost 50 sacks. And if we just do his first three years, had 42 sacks in, if you want to count the starts, 24 starts. Played in 43 games, though. About a sack a game for 43 games. Just unreal. And he was actually pretty good last year in real life as well, coming back. But suspended for four seasons. Alden Smith is forever going to go down as one of the what-ifs, or what could have been, if he wasn't an absolute idiot. Tough one. He was just unbelievable. It's interesting, though, with how they weight approximate value. I bet, I bet starts play a huge factor because he had 13 tackles for loss and 14 sacks in 2011 and his approximate value was three i mean he almost had a sack a game in his rookie year two forced fumbles a fumble recovery 13 tackles for loss and his approximate value was three just because he didn't start technically that's beyond stupid to me but you know what do i know so the approximate value for Corey legion is 50 for his career which I guess that makes sense. They weight starts, I think, so heavily. And that's super apparent with a guy like Nate Solder, who was just a revolving door for the Giants his entire time with the team, yet gets nine because he's made 16 starts in each of those seasons, even though he's been really, really bad. So I guess I didn't know that approximate value weight starts so heavily. because And, and Nate Solder was good for the Patriots for a while, don't get me wrong, but was not good for the Giants at all, yet it still gets... An approximate value score near some of his best seasons with the Patriots. Kind of wild. Rear approximate value of 83. Legion at 50. Alden Smith only at 37. Jimmy Smith at 38. I guess that's another thing that uh, that makes sense. Is he was never a guy who was going to start a ton. Just because he's been the third corner on a lot of different teams. And that technically doesn't count as a starter. Uh, even with base nickel defenses, I don't think that would count as a starter. Just because they wouldn't like factor that in. Muhammad Wilkerson has a... An approximate value of 71. He had some crazy seasons with this. Oh my god, I would never have guessed it was that high. Nick Fairley at only 26. He played in the league for way shorter than I thought. I didn't realize he came into the league at 23 years old. He was a super hyped up prospect. He was so, 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 so good coming out of Auburn. I know he really didn't do much and was kind of like a bust, if you will. But I didn't realize he was out of the league by 28. He only played six years. That's crazy. But those were definitely some fun quizzes to do, guys. Let me know how you did in the comment section below. I'm sure some of you are going to do way better than me. 
as uh, I just didn't really do all that well. But hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud, speed burst good.